Hello everyone, this is a walkthrough of the drone-based reforestation environment developed in Unity. I recently published a paper called Dynamic Collaborative Multi-Agent Reinforcement Learning Communication for Autonomous Drone Reforestation at NURBS 2022 as part of the Deep Reinforcement Learning Workshop. So it's uh, basically an environment that has a procedurally generated landscape, as you can see, as well as a forest volume. Um, so there's a forest noise map you can look at. Basically, the dark blue areas have the highest population in terms of trees um, and the green, yellow to red um, areas um, don't have any trees. Um, additionally, you can look at the height map just to see um, the height, uh, different color from um, also from um, blue to red um, indicate the height at a specific point. Um, why is that important? Just to also look at the different um, map difficulties. I can show you right away. So let's turn this off and go all the way to one. So this is supposed to be quite a flat land, right? With a quite good overview. You can look across the entire terrain quite easily. Um, and when we increase the difficulty, the mountain ranges or the hills are getting higher um, and they become much more of an obstacle if you wish so they have to be considered as well and drones have to actually navigate um the mountain range or the hill hilltops so let's just bring this up to to 10 for a moment um, this is supposed to be the highest um, difficulty level um, but of course there are different types of um, maps as well so let's bring this down to five as this is the difficulty i've been using for the work in um, paper as well here it is so let's generate another map all right and I basically can generate endless um, scenarios if you wish all right so yeah let's look at this maybe um, specific map um, again we can check out the forest noise map um, as well as the height map and so on. Great, so then we can just start. And so currently we have five drones and they go and fly and the blue dots are basically the seeds they are dropping. As you can see here, what else do we have? We have an info tag so we can see how many trees one of these drones has already dropped. So they get rewarded for placing trees um, far away from the drone station um, basically some sort of an exploration reward and then they get a reward for placing trees next to existing trees um, cool so then we have a network um, basically um, in the paper I state that um, this is a dynamic network they the agents are in and so they can communicate uh, within that network um, and it's dynamically changing in a sense that the neighbors are basically changing and it's not always um, certain how many neighbors one agent might be able to communicate um, as the range of communication is at 200 meters. Um, yeah, so you can look at this um, episode and then you can also look at the average um, drop count. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. So the agents have different types of actions. They can turn around, right and left, go up and down, forward and backwards, but they can also drop seeds um, to plant a tree. Um, and of course they can save a location into memory they deem important for potential further um, reforestation um, or to um, communicate that a specific location is not worth exploring anymore. Um, in terms of, obs of observations, they have cameras attached to each of these drones um, on the bottom and it's pointing downward and it's basically a 16 by 16 grid um, in grayscale. Um, and then they have a uh, GPS or geolocation, let's say, of the drone station um, so they always know uh, sort of how far they are from from the source of energy and seeds um, and they have an infrared sensor that 
gives them the distance to to the ground.